Hey everybody, it is Paint Pouring Sandy, and in this video I'm going to bring you the follow-up uh, to the trivet piece that I had made. Um, this is all part of a matching set for a commissioned piece. Uh, I had just made this tile trivet here, um, which looks pretty amazing um, and is going to be really, really great on someone's table. And now I'm going to make the coasters that go along with that set. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flood each four of these with alternating white and black. And then I'm going to make my little dirty pour cups using um, a chunk of a smoothie straw that I have cut down into the size that I need. Uh, the colors we're going to be using today are the same that I used in my last video, so it's going to be this Color Shift Green Flash, a custom-made, almost pastel turquoise blue, a neon purple, a brushed metal, um, brushed antique gold. This is uh, a door paint uh, that is made out of acrylic called Tranquil, uh, which is a really cool teal aqua color. And then we've got a uh, color shift purple flash. So um, like I mentioned in my last video, I've got alternating metallic, non-metallic um, colors to help give it depth. Um, and then I've put my colors in an order uh, that will work well together, which is important. So if you're finding that you're getting a lot of mud um, colors in your pieces it might not be the colors themselves it might be the order that in which you're using them so I've learned this with trial and error um, just over my course of painting which I'm almost at my one year mark now so um, I've learned a lot during that time and you will too um, the more that you try these techniques so um, what I've done is uh, these are four and a quarter um, square tiles. I got these for 16 cents each at Lowe's. Uh, what I've done is I've taken just a bamboo coffee stirrer um, and placed it down the middle just so it's visually easier for me um, instead of trying to eyeball it to get my white and black paint on there. Again, it does not have to be perfect, but it, it just helps me. Um, so hopefully this tip will help y'all as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and try and flood all four together and then create my little dirty, dirty pour cups as well um, out of the little straws. So um, with no further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get this started. And for those of you that watch my my videos on a regular basis, you'll know I'm always going to tell you that if you clean off your utensils right away while you're using them, it's going to make your life about 5,000 times easier as an artist. It really, really will. Otherwise, if you wait until the paint is dry on there, you're going to be scraping paint off of here for what's going to feel like forever. I promise you. It's not fun. <laughs> So now, uh, the other thing I want to do real quick is I just want to heat up my negative 
face colors here. See, this is just a little bit light on paint, just right where. And I just want to get some of the air bubbles out here real quick. I'm not trying to dry my paint or anything like that prematurely. And what I'm going to do with each of these now actually, let's do that. And I just want to put a few drops of each color in here. I'm going to put two drops for the sake of this. Um, one thing I will tell you about this neon purple is that when it's wet, it looks absolutely amazing against the black. Absolutely amazing but it does tend to get eaten by the black. Um, when it dries. So you might notice that neon purple more on the white than you do on the black. Unless maybe there's some other colors under it, which is part of the reason why I am layering them the way I am. I kind of wanted that purple to be towards the middle uh, just to give it kind of a fighting chance against that black because it's, it's beautiful. It really is. And in each of these, I'm just going to put like one drop of white or two, okay. Sorry, I just noticed that on this one right where I'm gonna be. my paint that my white is kind of trying to dry up a little bit on me so I want to make sure that I've got plenty of space for my paint to go and I think I'm gonna put one more drop of each color in here. And then just to finish it out, I'll put one drop of black in each one as well. And see, this one is also kind of going to dry out on me. All right. 
so now comes the fun part. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each one of these little straw pieces, pull it up on each thing, and then I'm going to take my straw and use this as my um, air swipe. Since most of my paint kind of ended up at the end of that one. And we're getting some really fun um, cells already here. And again, if you clean your instruments right away, you can use them again on future pours. So what I do is with my little straw, I just take a piece of napkin um, or a paper towel and run it through. So um, this is going to look really, really cool. I'm very excited. So now that these have all had just a little bit of a chance to sit for a second, I'm going to take my torch back over them. Just those colored areas. And then now I'm going to use my straw and do my air swipe. So let's see how this goes. I am actually extremely happy with all of these. Um, I'm going to let all of these dry after I torch them one last time here. And then after I let them dry, I'll go around my edges and, you know, make sure that all of my edges are, are covered in either the black or the white. And then I'll touch up any areas like um, where you can see the tile kind of showing through here and here on the black and then these will be set to dry and cure and once these are all 
dried and cured, they will get coated in resin uh, since she wants to use these, since the customer wants to use these as coasters, so that way they'll be heat and water resistant. So um, again, these are non-porous, so I'm hoping they won't take long to dry. Um, the trivet surprised me. Granted, I am here in North Texas and it is warming up. We're in the um, 60s today. It'll be 70s and 80s later this week. So, um, and it's a pretty warm, warm environment. So maybe that's what kind of factored into my other piece drying a little quicker than I thought. But uh, typically I've found that my non-porous pieces take a little longer to dry simply because they're not soaking through something. Um, but hopefully this won't take too, too long. And then, like I said, these will get uh, coated in resin once they're completely dried, cured, and cleaned. So I'll bring you all a video on the resin coatings on these as well, just so you can kind of see um, how I do those. So, uh, and then I'll show you what these look like once they're dry and hopefully y'all will enjoy them um, just as much as I do. Hey everybody, I want to show you what these um, dry uh, tile coasters look like. Um, but before I do, uh, I want to give a few shout outs in this video. Um, a very sweet woman uh, that follows my work on Instagram and on YouTube here, Doris at DF Designs, um, sent me a message and asked if she could give me a shout out on her channel, which of course I was so excited about. Um, during her latest live video and it was so fun to watch her create that piece and I had an absolute blast watching her. I almost burned my dinner um, trying to watch her make it so it was or create that piece so it was really really fun. So I uh, she's part of a group that does um, a program called Paint It Forward and that's just where you give shout outs to other artists that you um, really appreciate their work. So uh, I was so touched that she asked if she could give me a shout out, which I absolutely loved. Um, her her followers were fantastic and super sweet as well um, during that live. So it was really great to be a part of and I truly appreciate it. So thank you so much, Doris. Uh, so my first shout out is to her. Um, all of these shout outs, you're, I'm going to post links to their pages in the description of this video. And uh, my next shout out is to Jessica Teal Craig. Um, she is an amazing artist. I truly love her work. Um, I follow her work. I'm in an uh, art group on Facebook with her. Um, and I love how much she brings to our group, just her energy and uh, what um, what's in her heart in terms of why she paints. So I truly appreciate her and absolutely love seeing her work as well. Um, my third shout out for this video is to Miss Rebecca Turner. Um, she created an amazing art group, um, several pages on Facebook, but an amazing group um, on Facebook that I am very proud to be a part of. I absolutely love the interaction of our um, members there. I love Rebecca's art as well, um, everything that she shares there. She learns something, she tries it, she shows, it, shows us as well. Um, and I just absolutely love seeing um, her work as well. So like I said, I wanted to make sure I gave shout outs to these amazing women who I truly, truly appreciate. So um, thank you ladies so much. And uh, like I said, the uh, links to their YouTube pages are going to be in the description of this video. Please make sure you go check them out because they are fantastic. Um, so these are the tiles that I painted 24 hours ago. They're completely dry. Um, these tiles did have a glossy finish on them before I poured them. Um, but this is going to be each one of these. And I hope that in the light you can kind of see how cool these metallics are. Um, but these are completely dry now. I hope you can kind of, like I said, see these metallics as I move them around. Um, but these turned out so fun. I love the really fine detail in these, the lacing. Um, so much fun. I absolutely love creating these. These are a blast. Like I said, uh, in a few weeks after this paint is completely cured, what I'm going to do is clean it all um, in terms of, I'll put cornstarch over them uh, to help get any of the silicone that are in my paints off of the pieces 
and then after I uh, use the cornstarch, I'll use a very uh, uh, lightly damp cloth with really mild Dawn dish soap in there. Again, just to wash off any silicone that might be in there. I'll seal it with polycrylic uh, as a first coat, and then I will put a coat of resin on top of these. I currently only own art resin, so we'll see if that's what I end up sticking with or not. And then on the back, I'm going to put some cork um, for these tiles as well. This is all going to be a part of that set um, with the hexagon trivet as well. Um, so I'm really, really excited about this uh, commission piece. I can't wait for this to be completely done. And uh, I'll create a video when I go to resin these, so that way you all can see how I, how I do that as well. Thank you all again so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate you. Every like, share, comment, uh, subscription, it truly means a lot to me. And um, like I said, just thank you so much for watching from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, thank you. And it, I really hope that you do enjoy this content and that you learn um, something that from what I'm doing, either something you want to try, something that you think might work well for you, or you see something I do and you're like, I want to figure out how to do that better. Um, I, I love it all. So thank you again so much. And I hope you create beautiful art of your own. Bye.